in this tutorial, we are going to be making this a paper flower on a wire. Can be used to create bouquets, make a smaller one, make gumiers, or just for decoration. So what you will need is some scrapbook paper. I use, this one's about four inches long, well, wide, and 12 inches long. The length isn't as important, but this is kind of a good, um, big rose size. You will need scissors, a piece of wire, about 12 inches is probably good if you're going to make a bouquet. Gives you lots of space to um, wrap it and stuff. A Q-tip, something little. Uh, toothpick works, but I have a lot of these hanging around, so these work best for me. And a hot glue gun. I just use a cheap one. It works fine. So what we're going to do first is we're going to fold the end of this paper. Um, just fold it edge to edge like so, and cut it just right along the spot where you folded it. So we have a triangle like this. I'm going to go ahead and do that two more times because you'll need three total of those triangles to make one pretty big flower. The last one may turn out to be a little um, different size, but nothing in this is very precise. Um, it can pretty much be however it works out. If it's a flower, it's not going to be perfect. So that's what I got, three of those. Then we're going to fold them in half again and in half one more time. Ta -da. So I'm going to just do that to the other two. Then, you're going to just cut this into a petal. So just start on the folded side and cut just general petal shape. As I said before, nothing too particular, just roundish is all that matters. So I'm going to do that to the other two. Now when you unfold these, you get a nice flower shaped thing. So you'll have three of these. Just do that quickly. A nice thing to do while you're at this step is you want all the petals to fold in. So go ahead and just go along the same creases you already have on there, but just make them so they all go in. So it's sort of like so. Just gonna do that. Three of those. So what you're going to do is you're going to cut one of these little petals out of one. One out of one. Two out of the next one. And three out of the last one. You know, just cut right along the fold lines. So, you've got a bunch of little pieces now. And what you're gonna do, the one that you cut one out of, the first one, go back to that one, fold them all up. If you're going to make this a bouquet, we're gonna wanna just cut a little tiny bit off the bottom here so we can put the wire in. So, just snip a little bit off so that when you open it back up, there's a little hole in the middle. You can see it? All right, so then we're gonna take our Q-tip and curl all the ends. So I just hold it on the end like that and curl it up. This is not a precise science, but curl them all. This is probably the most time consuming Part of the whole flower making process. So I'm going to go ahead and do that to all of them. This is probably a good time if you haven't plugged in your hot glue gun. You could do that now because we are almost 
to hot glue time. All right, got them all rolled up. All right, so what we're gonna wanna do with the end of the wire here, I use pliers because my wire's kinda hard, but lots of times you can just do it with your fingers if you have less hard wire. Just grab the end and just put a little tiny bend in it. That way the flower sits up right. Okay, so what we're going to do is hot glue now. So we're gonna start with the one with the hole in the center. You're just gonna put a little glue along one of these edges. It doesn't matter really. I use a fair amount of glue. You wanna make sure it stays stuck and that's clear. So um, just get little thingies like this. So just go ahead and go along to each of them. Do this step, glue on the edge and you get a little cups. You can also get all these little strings. So once you're done with your flowers, I usually spend some time once they're all dry and the hot glue's cooled to pull all these little strings off so that you don't have those around on your bouquet. So they're all pretty easy to get stuck until you get down to the one that only has two petals. It doesn't really make such a beautiful flower petal when it's just folded in half. So what I do is I just stick my finger in the front and just kind of smush it so that it kind of goes like that. Nothing too particular, just so that it sort of looks like a flower petal. And then glue that one in place. And then we're gonna do something similar on the littlest one petal one. This is gonna be the center. So I'm just gonna take the Q-tip and um, sort of roll it and smush it. You know, it's a flower, it doesn't have to be perfect. So mine's a little cuckoo looking, okay. but it's just the middle. And once you have a bunch of these, um, nobody's looking at just one specific center of one flower. So, got all our pieces done. So we're gonna take that one with the circle hole that we cut earlier, take the wire. Now this is a time when a lot of glue is good. Put a big blob of glue in the inside, stick the wire up through the center and right into that blob of glue. You wanna make sure that's really good on there um, because this is what's gonna hold your flower. So now it's on the wire. And now the easy part, easiest part of the whole thing, you're just going to um, take each of your pieces in order. So you start with the uh, next smallest one, put a good little blob of glue on the back and stick it down in the first one. And you're just gonna keep doing that, pulling off all those strings. And none of this glue is visible, so you may as well put enough that you feel like you're comfortable that it's gonna stay stuck together. Doesn't really matter how the petals get hooked on there. Sometimes you'll get a crazy one like that. It doesn't look too nice. So I just um, curl it, curl it down a little more fixes the problem. Now once you get to this three petaled one, sometimes they stick up a little too much. So I just trim the bottom off as needed so that it fits down a little nicer inside the main piece. Looks more like a flower. Now try the same thing with this two. Well, that one looks okay. It kind of is a guess and test situation. You know, every time it doesn't work out the same because it just depends on how you folded the paper and so on. So we're just gonna get the center one stuck in there. Pull all these little stringies off and there you go. There you have it. One flower, didn't take too long. And uh, the more you get, the prettier it looks. And 
um, I'll do another tutorial later on how to assemble them into a bouquet.